Hey everybody, welcome back. So, here we go. Thanks to Clickstop and WizKids, we finally got some previews for Spider-Man and Venom Absolute Carnage. So, if you're ready, I'm ready, it's HeroClix previews of the day. Let's go. Alright guys, so welcome back. Here we go. It is Spider-Man time. Woo! A lot of my friends have been wanting to see these figures, so they're here. Well, some of them. Not all of them. <laughs> uh, we did get a nice preview through WizKids.com. Uh, that link is going to be in the description below. And thanks to Clickstop for previewing these two figures and in a special little object there. Uh, their link is going to be in the description below. As always, if you guys like this video, Hit that like button if you guys like my content. Smash that subscribe button. And also, I am going to be streaming online nationals. What? Yes. So, that's another reason to smash that subscribe button. Because when you guys hit that bell notification, you guys will be notified when round one through five for Saturday and Sunday. So, ah. Uh, that's awesome. I am super excited. Thank you so much to Howard Brock for the opportunity. Um, it's, it's almost here, guys. Um, so if you guys are ready, let's get it started, right? So first one on there is going to be the Jack-O-Lantern. He is a secret identity. So that's a little bit of a feature coming out that Whiskers is going to be highlighting. Um, now, he is 41 in the set. Uh, he has, of course, because we are talking about Spider-Man, Sinister Syndicate's back, and also Thunderbolts. What? Yes, Thunderbolts. He also does have the Skeleton Crew keyword. Wow. So, back in the old sets, they did have the Sinister Syndicates and the Thunderbolts, so it's really cool to see them back. Uh, I know a, a lot of people actually like the Sinister Syndicate, so, man, here we go. You can actually get your Golden Age stuff. And your modern age stuff for Sinister Syndicate. And hey, throw some um, bronze age stuff in there. Man, that way you can make a nice little Sinister Syndicate team. Um, so, he comes in at 60 points. What? Now, look at, the, look at that weird dial right there. He has a six-click dial and then a three-click dial at the very end. Let's see what this actually does, right? So, uh, so it looks like that end of a dial may be a secret identity to where if he comes in as a secret identity, then he's gonna come in on the 9, 10, 11 click, possibly. We don't know yet. <laughs> we'll find out soon. Um, have, I, I don't have any information as far as uh, secret identity. I know they just brought it out, so I'm not too sure on that. Um, but he has a trait that says pumpkin bombs. Now, we haven't actually got the look on how the pumpkin bombs look. Um, so, jack o -Lanners may start the game uh, Jack Lantern may start the game with 001 Pumpkin Bomb Bombs equipped at no cost. Wow, that is awesome. Now, he does have a hallucinogenic, hallucinogenic Pumpkin Bomb. Smoke Cloud is as free, but only to generate three markers. When an opposing character occupying one of Jack o Lantern's smoke markers, um, oh, okay. <laughs> when an opposing character occupying one of jack o lanterns smoke markers um, makes an attack, characters they would target can use shape change. What? So, if he attacks you and you are occupying one of... Uh, if they're occupying one of uh, jack o lanterns um, smoke markers, well, you get to use shape change. That is awesome. It's free, too. To place three markers, perfect. So... You know that guy's coming. Let's just go ahead and throw a little smoke cloud right there, right on your square. That way that, hey, if you don't um, ignore hindering terrain, sorry. But, um, yeah, just to help you out, though. I mean, you got to surround your own entire team. This is just awesome. The sculpt looks great. That sculpt looks awesome. Uh, I know they had the jack-o'-lantern back in the Civil War. This one, this one looks better. Wow. It looks more ominous, right? <laughs> um, so, yes, I love the, the effect of that smoke cloud. It's going to be awesome to see that. And it's going to be really cool to see um, what, you know, when, when you actually pull them, you're like, oh, man, I want to definitely. 
I would definitely recommend making a Sinister Syndicate team because that is awesome. Um, you should be able to get a Sinister Syndicate for your sealed, so we'll see. We will definitely see. So he does have a uh, running shot for two clicks. He has sidestep for the next two clicks. And then he has force blast, uh, which is really decent. Um, not as good, but he has running shot in his first two clicks. So he has 17. He has uh, defense for toughness uh, throughout his dial until the very last two clicks, which is the force, uh, which is the willpower. Now, he doesn't have any dam any any long damage ability, but he has the range combat expert for uh, for click number three and four. So he does have an 18 defense between that. So it's a little iffy. Um, it just depends on what those bomb markers actually have. So we don't know yet. Uh, he does have the sinister Ten syndicate team ability, which is awesome because he gets to um, share a uh, an attack uh, value. Uh, so when this character makes an attack, um, you may replace the attack value with the printed um, attack value of an adjacent friendly character that can use the team ability. That's awesome. So there we go. Find someone that actually has 11 attack or even a 12 and um, you get to copy it. Just like Bullseye. I think Bullseye's is um, a Sinister Syndicate. So that's actually pretty good. 60 points. It's actually can surround him with a lot of stuff with 60 points. So that is awesome. Great, great, great. Great start to this. So next one. Oh, there he is. Is the Superior Spider-Man. Uh, the other one was a rare. The Jack-O-Lantern. This one is a super rare. Uh, so su Superior Spider-Man. Uh, Spider fifty Set number 55. He has. He can run through hindering and run through elevation. Um, let's see. The Jack-O-Lantern. Okay, no special abilities. Okay, it's dark. Um, so he can, of course, he's Spider-Man, so he can run through elevation and entering terrain because that's what their little run, the little run guy is. And then the red marker and then the green marker, those are hindering and uh, and elevation. So he gets to run right through them and he gets to ignore them pretty much. Um, so he has the Avengers, boom, Avengers, uh, Sinister Syndicate because it pretty much like Doc Doc uh, Doctor Octopus, boom. He has the octopus arms. Um, Spider-Man family, because I know a lot of people who build Spider-Man families in, uh, in my local uh, venues. And scientists, again, the same thing. Uh, I've seen a lot of scientist teams around my local area. So he does start with a sig signature equipment, which is these superior uh, Spider-Man may start the game with 007 uh, Waldo arms equipped at no cost. So we're pretty much going to see start seeing a lot more equipment at no cost, pretty much like how Mighty Thor was and Avengers Black Panther. It's exactly how oh, Avengers Black Panther, I think, is five pool, five points. This one's at no cost. What? Um, so he has he's 85 points, which pretty much a Spear Foe Spider Man should have, in a sense. I would say now he does have a wild card ability, which is right there the Spider Man team ability that gives you wild card, so you get to share. Uh, you can be uh, an Avenger where it's plus one move it, uh, action, or you can give him the shield, so he has plus one range from everyone sh uh, from each person sharing his ability, so he can get a possible seven range. Um, but he does have a special uh, uh, boot ability for four clicks. Now, that special boot ability is my approach is more uh charge flurry and plasticity what yes that is amazing <laughs> um so he does have also on his special attack value is precision strike he also has blades claws fangs and then he has steel energy um now on his uh defense now going back sorry <laughs> <laughs> Sorry on his boot ability. He has charge after that and he has two sidesteps. So that's not too bad because he gets the heal possibly. Um now on his special defense uh defense. Now his special uh, is it not special, but his defense is willpower. So he has super senses for three clicks because of course it's Spider-Man. Uh he has combat reflexes for the last four clicks, which is crazy. He uh he can Pretty much be a 19 defense or a 20 defense. That is outstanding. Uh, he has perplex exploit weakness because he wants to take out your uh, your your defense ability, and he has probability control the last two clicks. So this is a really effective dial. Now, 
we're going to find out what the Waldo arms do because why not? <laughs> we uh, They previewed them. Um, so, but in the whole frame of work, I can see this being played everywhere. He is 85 points. I can see him in a lot of casual games for a Spider-Man team, team or for an Avengers team. Now, like I told you before, Sinister Syndicate, there's another one. You have, you know, 500-point theme teams, 600-point theme teams. This is going to be iconic. This is going to be much needed for your uh, Sinister Syndicate or even Avengers. This is going to be solid. Uh, he has the wild card, so he gets to pretty much pick what he needs to do. You can even give him the Sinister Syndicate team ability, which is awesome. There you go. There's an 11 attack right there that uh, Jack-O-Lantern can borrow. So... There it is. Then he gets too perplexed. So I get to, you know, if he, if I want Jack Lantern to attack, um, I use that Sinister Syndicate, and then I uh, perplex it up. So um, yeah, replace, then modify. Um, that is pretty pretty good. That sculpt. Look at that sculpt, man. That sculpt is amazing. I love it. Um, of course, Spider Man. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's great. So. In the um, casual games, we're gonna see in the in the uh, modern. Yes, we will definitely see this in modern. Uh, I know Emilio, Tony, Steve, um, Dakota, like oh, everyone that I know is gonna be able to get this guy used pretty well in bronze, limited, and regular bronze, and also modern. So, emerging you guys, okay, Emilio. I'm looking at you, Emilio. <laughs> I want to see you try to get this guy used a lot. So let's go. <laughs> um, yeah, just put him on, put him in bronze. Give him the gauntlet, or give him um, the um, power plant, or the bat signal, or that bat signal. That's that's, <laughs> that's banned. Um, the utility belt. So let's see what let's see what you guys come up with. <laughs> uh, see what the next one. So this is going to be the octo, uh, the wild, the Waldo arms. So, the Waldo Arms are heavy objects, so you can destroy it from a range, um, just throw it up, but the effect is awesome. The effect is giant reach of two. What? So, at the beginning of your turn, you may roll a d6. This character has the listed effect until your next turn. What? Um, so, if you roll a one or two, you modify attack and defense by plus one. Yes, that is awesome. Uh, it's 10 points, but it's going to be free if you put on Superior. So, Superior, superior Spider-Man can be an, uh, a 12 defense and I believe a 19. A 19 with Super Senses. Wow. Uh, or, if you roll a 3 to 4, he can use Incap for free. So, he gets a Charge, Flurry, and an Incap you. Oh, man, that is crazy. Um... Or, on a 5 through 6, he can make a free, uh, make a close attack. Oh, man. If he can roll that free, make a close attack, that is outstanding. Um, so, now, if it does get unequipped, don't worry. It won't KO. It'll just drop. So, someone else can pick it up. But, this sculpt, this, just this look of this is awesome. I'll, I will definitely, we will definitely see this being played everywhere. Um, I'm excited. I really am. I'm really excited on how these Waldo Arms is going to be in the entire, like the meta, the uh, competitive scene, pretty much the meta itself on how they're going to actually utilize the Waldo Arms. So I want to definitely see it first. Uh, but in casual, I can definitely see it because I know a lot of people actually do utilize these suits, uh, the Spider-Man. So I want to see how that's being used here. Um, you can put these pretty much on because they're all uh, Waldo arms. You can put them on anyone. Um, yeah, that was awesome. So, uh, yeah. So, that's all the previews for today, unfortunately. I know. I'm out. Just kidding. Um, yes, yeah, so that's all the previews today. I am really excited about this set. It's already looking amazing. So, we already have a super rare that we can, uh, we, that we can see. And we also have a rare. So there is sky's the limit here now. Definitely check out uh, Click Stop if you guys want their uh, they their link. There's me description below. Definitely check them out and also WizKids as well. Their link is me description below. Definitely check out their um their WizKids.com/slash/HeroClick site. It's it's already uh, finished and uploaded, ready to go for all the not 
all of them because we don't have a lot of the stuff on there but uh, every other figure that's going to be on there it's going to be on there but I wouldn't hold my breath too much on seeing every figure yet because they haven't previewed everything just yet um, so I'm excited so uh, you know what I'm also excited about the Scott Porter unboxings Woo! Yes, I am really excited. I want to see what Scott Porter pulls, uh, and his 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 vast knowledge, you know, of Marvel. <laughs> um, so with that being said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, as always, if you guys like this video, hit that like button. It definitely helps me out. Uh, if you guys like my content, I do have um, weekly shows, which is the uh, Hero Click Center stage should be right over there. Um, other than that, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Smash that subscribe button uh, and then hit that bell notification. That way you guys never miss any content. And also, um, just make sure tomorrow uh, tomorrow is going to be the uh, online nationals. And I, I am going to be streaming it. So what's going to be amazing is I am exclusively going to be extreme, uh, 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 streaming nationals uh, for Howard Brock. So I am really excited about showcasing that to you guys. So without further ado, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, like, or as always, I'm sorry, as always, if you're going to roll physically or online, you always, always roll a critical hit. All right, guys. See you later. Thank you so much.